explanation. Generally, any mental or physical activity is referred to as work. When we walk or run, the energy in our body is used to do the necessary work. Suppose a girl is studying. We say that a girl who is studying is working or performing work. But that is mental work. In physics, work has a special meaning. Work is said to be done when a force applied on an object causes displacement of the object. The work done by force acting on an object is the product of the magnitude of the force and the displacement of the object in the direction of the force. Therefore, work is equal to force multiplied by displacement. In figure B, when a child pulls a toy with the help of a string, the direction of the force is different from that of displacement. When a child pulls a toy cart, force is applied along the direction of the string, while the cart is pulled along the horizontal surface. In this case, in order to calculate the amount of work done, we have to convert the applied force into the force acting along the direction of displacement. Let F be the applied force and F1 be its component in the direction of displacement. S be the displacement. The amount of work done is given by W is equal to F1 multiplied by S. Equation 1. The force is applied in the direction of the string, that is, at an angle with the horizontal. Let theta be the angle. We can determine the component F1 of this force, F1, by means of trigonometry. Cos theta is equal to base divided by hypotenuse. Cos theta is equal to F1 upon F. Therefore, F1 is equal to F multiplied by cos theta. Therefore, work done W is equal to F cos theta multiplied by S. Unit of work. Work is equal to force multiplied by displacement. In SI system, the unit of force is Newton, N, and the unit of displacement is meter, M. Thus, the unit of force is Newton meter. This is called Joule. 1 Joule. If a force 1 Newton displaces an object through 1 meter in the direction of the force, the amount of work done on the object is 1 Joule. Therefore, 1 Joule is equal to 1 Newton multiplied by 1 meter. Therefore, 1 Joule is equal to 1 N multiplied by 1 M. In CGS system, the unit of force is dyne and that of displacement is centimeter. Thus, the unit of work done is dyne centimeter. This is called an erg. One erg. If a force of one dyne displaces an object through one centimeter in the direction of the force, the amount of work done is one erg. One erg is equal to one dyne multiplied by one centimeter. Relationship between joule and erg. We know that one newton is equal to 10 raised to power 5 dyne and one meter is equal to 10 raised to power 2 centimeter. Therefore, work is equal to force multiplied by displacement. 1 joule is equal to 1 newton multiplied by 1 meter. Therefore, 1 joule is equal to 10 raised to power 5 dyne multiplied by 10 raised to power 2 centimeter is equal to 10 raised to power 7 dyne centimeter. Therefore, 1 joule is equal to 10 raised to power 7 erg. Positive, negative and zero work. When the force and the displacement are in the same direction, that is, theta is equal to zero degree, the work done by the force is positive. When the force and the displacement are in opposite directions, theta is equal to 180 degree, the work done by the force is negative. 
when the applied force does not cause any displacement or when the force and the displacement are perpendicular to each other theta is equal to 90 degree the work done by the force is zero examples one pushing a stalled car positive work two catching the ball which your friend has thrown towards you negative work 3 tying a stone to one end of a string and swinging it round and round by the other end of the string zero work 4 walk up and down a staircase or climbing a tree positive work 5 stopping a moving car by applying brakes negative work